Good morning, everybody. In this video, I will be going over the Miter Attack Shield Knowledge Base that was just released yesterday. But first, if you're new here, I make weekly videos on how to level up your InfoSec and cybersecurity careers. Consider subscribing. Hey everybody, welcome. If you're like me, then you're a security expert and you never need to improve. Seriously though, I work and have always worked in defensive security positions and when it comes time to build out your catalog of defensive tactics that are available to you, it can be hard because you got to be really creative and you got to think like an attacker and if you don't have that experience then yeah, you see the problem. MITRE, our favorite federally funded cybersecurity research center, has just released a new knowledge base called SHIELD. Now if you've never heard of SHIELD, don't worry about that. It was just released yesterday. However, it's a lot like the attack matrix. However, SHIELD focuses on defensive tactics, specifically active defense. Now I will say here, MITRE has released this and they've acknowledged it's not complete. But they released it because they said it's complete enough to spark conversation in the community around active defenses. So what is active defense? Now I'm going to quote here, so give me a second. The U.S. Department of Defense defines active defense as the employment of limited offensive action and counterattacks to deny a contested area or position to the enemy. So what does that mean for you and me? It means when you see an attack happening, you no longer sit back. You're going to take a step forward, you're going to figure out what to do, and you're going to take action based off of the miter shield. So what do you think of this so far? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so getting right into the good stuff. What is the miter shield? How did we get here? Miter shield is a knowledge base of active defense tactics that can be employed against attackers and adversaries. MITRE SHIELD is available in Matrix just like MITRE ATTACK. Also, just like MITRE ATTACK, each tactic or technique is labeled with a unique ID, usually like DTE or DUO, and then four digits after that, like a serial number so you can easily refer to them in the community. There are eight tactics total. They are Channel, Collect, contain, detect, disrupt, facilitate, legitimize, and test. And now, just in case I'm not drawing a very clear picture with what I'm describing here, each tactic is the column in the matrix. Under each column, there's different cells. Those are the techniques. Those are the specific actions you can take when defending against an adversary. Now, some of the tactics are pretty straightforward and I think universally understood, like the detect tactic. I don't think I need to explain to you what the detect tactic is. However, there's others like legitimize that kind of make me wonder. Now, if we take that legitimize tactic and expand on it a little bit, what we're trying to do there is add authenticity to your deceptive acts to slow down the attackers. This could be for a variety of reasons. For example, maybe you need more time to think about what your next step is and make an informed decision. Now, the test tactic is new to me. It's not one that I'd seen before. And the idea here is, is you're going to test your adversary to see what they like. And this means leaving bait out for them. Maybe you're going to uh, spin up a honeypot that, that mimics uh, you know, a Cisco router or switch, or you're going to leave some Linux or uh, Windows OSs available on the network. You're basically trying to determine what the adversary is after. And the way this helps you is in the future, you can help build your defenses around what the adversaries are seeking in your network. Now finally, this framework wouldn't be complete unless it mapped to the MITRE attack matrix. You can get that mapping. I'll link it in the description below. That's it. Thanks for watching. I was very excited when I seen MITRE announce this yesterday, and I couldn't wait to make a video on it to help spread the word. I expect some really great things to be coming out of this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, let me know below in the comments. Like and subscribe for more.